Fortnite squad. What is up everybody, my name is Marin TM and thank you so very much for stopping by my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you 5 tips that will help you fix any error, bug or glitch with the Fortnite Battle Royale launcher. So with that said, let's jump right on into it. So tip number one is to reboot your router. If you haven't tried this before entering this video, just do so right now, try to open up the Epic Games launcher again, try to log into Fortnite and if it still doesn't work, be sure to continue on watching because we will help you guys fix this. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is to actually click the Windows key and tap in this PC. This might go a little bit fast, just pause the video, slow it down, whatever you want, click enter. Go ahead and double click on the hard drive where the Epic Games launcher is downloaded. Uh, for me that's on my Windows uh, hard drive. You want to double click on uh, Program Files x686, <laughs> my bad. Uh, go ahead and go into Epic Games Launcher Engine Binaries and Win64 if you got a 64-bit system and Win32 if you got a 32-bit system. Go ahead and double tap on that. And once you're here, I would strongly recommend you guys to actually go ahead and right click and click on create a shortcut on the Epic Games launcher. Once that's done, it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, you might have to do it two or three times. I actually have to do it sometimes just to uh, just to kind of remind the computer that I actually clicked it because I got quite a bad computer. Once that's done, you want to drag it out to your desktop. Just X that out. Um, and once it's on your desktop, you want to go ahead and right click and go into properties. And you want to remember to tap space. This is really important. Uh, press the space button. It's super important. And then what you want to type is the following commands. I'm not going to try to say uh, the commands because I find them quite hard to say. Um, HTTP, Vinnet, and OpenGL. I do not know what these things are named. I of course know that this is like equal, but I have no idea what this little thing is called. If you guys could hit me up in the comment section what that shit is named, please be sure to do so because I would love to know. So once that's done, you want to go ahead and click apply. Alright, so for tip number three, it's going to be a really easy tip, yet this actually fixed my problem back in the day. So when you open up your Epic Games launcher, you want to go ahead and open Task Manager. And if your Epic Games just closes down, it's a big opportunity or a big possibility that Epic Games Launcher actually is down here on Background Processes. So if it is, all you want to do is right click and click on End Task. So it's not any harder than that, it's all you have to do. Uh, that fixed my problem a couple of weeks ago and yeah, that's tip number three. So tip number four will be uh, the tip that will fix most of you guys' problems. I already made a video on this, but this is more of a general video on how to fix any error, glitch or bug in the Fortnite launcher. So with that said, let's actually hop on into it. So you want to go ahead and go on the Windows key again and type in control panel. Oh my god, I can't type. Um, once you're here, you want to click on network and internet. Go ahead and click on network and sharing center. Once again, if this goes if this goes a little bit too fast, please be sure to slow down the video. And yeah, once you're here, you want to click on change adapter settings and you want to right click on the internet you're connected to. If you're connected by cable, click on Ethernet. And if you're connected by Wi-Fi, click on Wi-Fi. Go ahead and right click on the internet you're connected to. Go down to properties, go ahead and click it. And once you're here, you want to go to internet protocol version 4. Once you <laughs> have that checked out, you want to go ahead and click on properties yet again. A lot of properties, a lot of clicks, guys, but you just gotta keep your head cold. So once that's done, you wanna go ahead and click on obtain an IP address automatically and go down here and check off use the following DNS server addresses and click on preferred DNS server. Um, once you're here, you wanna click in 8.8.8.8 .8 and alternate DNS server, you wanna click in 8.8.4.4. .4. What this simply does is that it privates your connection and you're not allowed to actually start up the uh, Fortnite launcher if you're not on a private connection when you're connected to your home network. Quite weird, I know, but that's just how the Epic employees want it. So yeah, that's it for tip number four. 
Alright guys, so I'm sitting here editing and I found out that I actually messed up. So it's extremely important that you also go down to your date and click on adjust date and time. Go ahead and click these two and that's simply about it. It's really important that your time is synchronized with Epic Games' time because if it's not, you won't get into the launcher or the game. So for tip number five, this is going to be a really small amount of you guys, probably like 5%, but this might actually help you guys get into Fortnite. So if you get any bugs like ESO, S3, SA bugs, when you're trying to log into Fortnite, this will hopefully help. So, you want to go ahead and click on the Windows key yet again. We do love the Windows key here on the Marin TM channel. You want to go ahead and type in CMD, go ahead and right click on that and click on run as an administrator. Sorry if that was extremely loud, that bling. Uh, but you want to go ahead and click yes naturally. And once that's done, you want to go ahead and um, type in IP config. And once that's done, uh, you want to go down to find your IPv4 address, which in my case is this, 192.168.1.31. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and type in ipconfig-release, click enter. And once that's done, it's going to come up like a little cool thing, a little animation, you think you're a hacker. And then what you want to do is you want to type in ipconfig-release, no, 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 my bad, renew. Uh, and uh, yeah. Windows IP configuration, that should help you guys out um, actually making a new IP. So yeah, that is the five tips for the Fortnite Battle Royale launcher. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to give this video, video? <laughs> video a big thumbs up. My name is MyronTM and I'm checking out. Have a good one.